Exodus, chapter 35. Then Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together, and said to them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded you to do. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your dwellings on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take, away, take from among you an offering to the Lord. Whoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it as an offering to the Lord. Gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, ram skins dyed red, badger skins and acacia wood, oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense, onyx stones and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate. All who are gifted artisans among you shall come and make all that the Lord has commanded, the tabernacle, its tent, its covering, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the ark and its poles with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and its poles, all its utensils, and the showbread. Also the lampstand for the light, its utensils, its lamps, and the oil for the light, the incense altar, its poles, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, and the screen for the door at the t entrance of the tabernacle the altar of burnt offering with its bronze grating, its poles, all its utensils, and the lava and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, their sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle, the pegs of the court and their cords, the garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister as priests. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. Then every one came whose heart was stirred, and every one whose spirit was willing, and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting for all its service, and for the holy garments. They came, both men and women, as many as had a willing heart, and brought earrings and nose rings, rings and necklaces, all jewelry of gold, that is, every man who made an offering of gold to the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair, red skin red skins of rams and badger skins brought them. Everyone who offered an offering of silver or bronze brought the Lord's offering, and everyone with whom was found acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. All the women who were gifted artisans spun yarn with their hands and brought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet and fine linen, and all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun yarn of goat's hair. The rulers brought onyx stones, and the stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate, and the spices and oil for the light, and the anointing oil, and, and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a free will offering to the Lord, all the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring material for all kinds of work, which the Lord, by the hand of Moses, had commanded to be done. And Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and he has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship, to design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting jewels for setting and carving wood, and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship. And he has put in his heart the ability to teach in him, and Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do all manner of work of the engraver, and the designer, and the tapestry maker, in blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen, and of the weaver, those who do every work, and those who design artistic works. Exodus, chapter 36. And Bezalel and Aholiab... And every gifted artisan in whom the Lord has put wisdom and understanding to know how to do all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary shall do according to all that the Lord has commanded. Then Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab, and every gifted artisan in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, every one whose heart was stirred to come and do the work. And they received from Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of making the sanctuary. So they continued bringing to him free will offerings every morning. 
Then all the craftsmen who were doing all the work of the sanctuary came, each from the work he was doing. And they spoke to Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough <clears throat> for the service of the work which the Lord commanded us to do. So Moses gave a commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman do any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. And the people were, were restrained from bringing, for the material they had was sufficient for all the work to be done, indeed too much. Then all the gifted artisans among them who worked on the tabernacle made ten curtains woven of fine linen and of blue, purple, and scarlet thread with artistic designs of, of cherubim they made them. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. The curtains were all the same size, and he coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on the selvage of one set. Likewise, he did on the outer set of the other curtain of the second set. Fifty loops he made on one curtain, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain on the end of the second set. The loops held one curtain to another. He made fifty clasps of gold and coupled the curtains to one another with the clasps that it might be one tabernacle. He made curtains of goat hair for the tent. Over the tabernacle he made eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain, that is, outermost in one set, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain of the second set. He also made fifty bronze clasps to couple the tent together, that it might be one. Then he made a covering for the tent of ram skins, dyed red, and a covering and a covering of badger skins above that. For the tabernacle he made boards of acacia wood standing upright. The length of each board was ten cubits, and the width of each board a cubit and a half. Each board had two tenons for binding one to another. Thus he made for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side. Forty sockets of silver he made to go under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the other side of the tabernacle, the north side, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the west side of the tabernacle, he made six boards. He also made two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle, and they were coupled at the bottom and coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus he made both of them for the two corners. So there were eight boards in their sockets, sixteen sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. And he made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle on the far side westward. And he made the middle bar to pass through the boards from one end to the other. He overlaid the boards with gold, made the rings of gold to be holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It was worked with an artistic design of cherubim. He made for it four pillars of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold. And he cast four sockets of silver for them. He also made a screen for the tabernacle door of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver and its five pillars with their hooks. And he overlaid their capitals and their rings with gold, but their five sockets were bronze. Exodus chapter 37 Then Bezalel made the ark of acacia wood. Two and a half cubits was its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold inside and outside and made a molding of gold all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold to be set in its four corners, two rings on one side and two rings on the other side of it. He made poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. And he put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to bear the ark. He also made the mercy seat of pure gold. Two and a half cubits was its length and a cubit and a half its width. He made two cherubim of beaten gold. He made them of one piece at the two ends of the mercy seat, one cherub at one end of on this side, and the other cherub at the other end on that side. He made the cherubim at the two ends of one piece with the mercy seat. The cherubim spread out their wings above and covered the mercy seat with their wings. They faced one another. The faces of the cherubim were toward the mercy seat. 
He made the table of acacia wood. Two cubits was its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and made a molding of gold all around it. Also he made a frame of a hand breadth all around it, and made a molding of gold for the frame all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings on the four corners that were at its four legs. The rings were close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table, and he made the poles of acacia wood to bear the table, and overlaid them with gold. He made of pure gold the utensils which were on the table, its dishes, its cups, its bowls, and its pitchers for pouring. He also made the lampstand of pure gold, of hammered work he made the lampstand, its shaft, its branches, its bowls, its ornamental knobs, and its flowers were of the same piece. And six branches came out of its sides, three branches of the lamp stand out of one side, and three branches of the lamp stand out of the other side. There were three bowls made like almond blossoms on one branch with an ornamental knob and a flower, and three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch with an ornamental knob and a flower, and so for the six branches coming out of the lamp stand. And on the lampstand itself were four bowls made like almond blossoms, each with its ornamental knob and flower. There was a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches extending from it. Their knobs and their branches were of one piece, all of it was one hammered piece of pure gold. And he made its seven lamps, its wick trimmers, and its trays of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold he made it with all its utensils. He made the incense altar of acacia wood. Its length was a cubit, and its width a cubit. It was square, and its two cubit, and the two cubits was its height. Its horns were of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with pure gold, its top, its sides all around, and its horns. He also made for it a molding of gold all around it. He made two rings of gold for it under its molding, by its two corners on both sides as holders for the poles with which to bear it. And he made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He also made the holy anointing oil and the pure incense of sweet spices according to the work of the perfumer. God bless the reading of his word today.